Hey guys, Dabu7. I have some alert information here in regards to the areas around Mar-a-Lago and the events that are going to go down on Friday. It looks like the Coast Guard and other agencies have come together and they have made these secure zones in the area. And if you get caught in them in the wrong spot, there's going to be fines, penalties, and everything else. But I wanted to point out where these locations are real quick. You can see here the three zones, west, central, and east. The Coast Guard is scheduled to establish these security zones Thursday in the intercoastal waterway and offshore near Palm Beach. They're saying that these security zones are scheduled to begin at approximately 12 p.m. Thursday, and they will continue until approximately 11.59 p.m. on Monday. Now, this is to include certain waterways of the Lake Worth Lagoon, intercoastal waterways and the Atlantic Ocean in the vicinity of Mar-a-Lago Club and the Southern Boulevard Bridge in Palm Beach. Now the security zones they say are necessary to protect the VIP and other official party members that are going to be here and they're saying that these three zones will be as such. Zone 1 is always in effect. No vessels or person should be permitted to enter this zone consisting of waters of the Lake Worth Lagoon from the southern tip of the Everglades Island in the north to approximately 1,000 yards from the south of the Southern Boulevard Bridge on the south and eastern shore in that line west of Fisherman Island. The Zone 2, they say, is always in effect. All vessels transiting the second zone shall maintain a steady speed and shall not slow or stop from waters of the Lake Worth Lagoon, including intercoastal waterways from the southern tips. So you're not even going to be able to, if you're going through here, you're not even going to be able to stop or come within a thousand yards of these positions. In zone 3, they say, is always in effect. All vessels transiting this third zone shall maintain a steady speed and shall not slow or stop from waters of the Atlantic Ocean from the Banyan Road in the north to Ocean View Road in the south and from shore approximately a thousand yards east of the shoreline. They're saying that vessels that are seeking authorization to transit these security zones must contact the Coast Guard via Marine Band Radio VHF FM Channel 16. They go on to state here that violation of a security zone may result in a civil penalty in excess of $88,000, a criminal penalty of up to $10,000, and or imprisonment up to 12 years. So that's just a heads up with what they're doing here in issuing these security zones. I will leave a link and I will update with more info as I come across it. It's been Dabu7. Peace.